Hello everyone, I'm Emma and welcome to the 7 day yoga challenge. In this part of the world, the warm weather is finally here to stay. But whether or not your weather is warm or not, let's begin in the same way. By finding a comfortable seat and using our senses on our environment to bring us into a much more present state. So go ahead and close the eyes. Eliminating sight from the equation to begin. And using your sense of touch to notice three things you can feel. Good, open the eyes. Notice three things you can see. Now let's move into the body. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale, twist over to the left. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, arms lift through the middle. And exhale, fold forward. See if you can label three different sounds. Inhale, come back to neutral. Swap which foot is in front of the other. And inhale, arms lift again. Exhale, twist towards the right. Inhale, arms through the middle. Exhale, brief twist to the left. Inhale, arms up. And finally, one more bow down. This time, just take a couple deep breaths. Good, inhale, come back to neutral, arms reach up. Exhale, from here we're going to come into tabletop pose, so either rolling over the knees or bringing the feet to the side to get here. Good, inhale, extend that right leg back. Hold for a moment and when you're sturdy, lift the left arm. Make sure that spine is neutral, no drooping in the back. Find your balance. That right wrist should be right under the shoulder. Now from here, begin to tap the toes and the fingers a couple of times. Link your breath. Inhale on that lifting and exhale as you lower. Good, bring the left hand back in. Bring the right leg to the right and add a couple of fire hydrants. So bring the right knee in towards the midline and then kick it out to the side. Maintaining that bend in the right leg. Really try and squeeze the glute on that upward part of the movement. Good, inhale, extend it back. On the exhale, either make your way all the way down to the chest or try and tuck both toes under and lift the legs for a little back bend. Then end up completely on the mat. Inhale to lift for cobra. Shoulder blades back, chest pulls forward, lower down and lift back up to tabletop. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Inhale, extend the left leg this time. When you're ready, that right arm follows. Make sure the spine is neutral, and again, begin to tap the toes and the fingers. Use the glute, not the lower back, for this movement as you're lifting that back left leg. Good, right hand comes back in. Bring the left leg to the side. And again, connect the knees and then open the leg away. Squeeze that left glute on the upward part of the movement. Good, extend the left leg back. 
option to just lower down onto the chest and the stomach or try for that little back bend by extending both legs. Hands come next to the chest. Inhale for Cobra. Good. This time tuck the toes under, but head into a child's pose variation. So keeping those toes tucked under, melt the chest towards the thighs. Then from here, rock it forwards into your plank. Exhale, sink back down, child's pose variation, toes tucked, and inhale, return to plank, lift those knees up. Knees down, fold. Inhale, shoot it back forward, and this time exhale, lift the hips up, find downward dog. Support yourself with the shoulder blades, press into the mat, let the chest melt towards the legs and the heels can melt to the mat. Make sure those hips are pressing high. Then if you feel comfortable, add in a pedal. You can swing the hips a little bit with this as well. Just start to work into the back of the legs. Good, return to neutral. And on the next inhale, take a couple of little steps into a halfway lift at the top of the mat. Exhale, bend the knees, fold a little deeper. And on the next inhale, rise all the way up to mountain pose. Connect the palms at the top. And exhale, open the chest, bring the arms wide. Inhale, connect the hands and exhale, open to the right. Inhale, connect the hands again. Exhale, open to the left. Just a little rotation from the spine here. Inhale, come back to the middle and continue to open at your own pace. Link your breath. Swapping from side to side. Focus on that breathing, that fluid movement. Last one. Bring it back through the middle, reach the arms up and interlace the fingers, flip the palms, reach upwards, open the chest. Exhale, fold it all the way down. Bend those knees if you need to. Inhale, lift up again. Connect the palms and exhale to open. From here, inhale, wrap those arms around each shoulder. Lift the left leg up and very gently, we're going to try and step it back. Find your lunge position. Inhale, arms reach up in your high lunge. Find some depth in that right leg to increase the challenge. Exhale, bring the palms together at the chest and lean forward. Inhale to lift back up. A few more times. Exhale, lower down towards that right thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And inhale, lift up. Exhale, turn to the right this time. Inhale through the middle. Exhale, turn to the right. It's okay if it gets a little wobbly here. One more, turn to the right. Inhale to the middle, lift the arms up. And exhale, lower the back knee to the mat. Hands come down as well. Find your low lunge. Return to your body and your breath. And on the next big inhale, reach the right arm up. From here, exhale, right hand comes down. Inhale, lift off the back leg and step back forward to the top of the mat for a halfway lift. Exhale, two folds. Take a deep breath. And on the next inhale, lift all the way back up. Connect the palms, open the arms and give yourself another hug. From here, the right leg floats up. 
Exhale to step it back. Find your lunge position again. And inhale, reach the arms up when you feel stable. Find your strength in this powerful position. Maybe find more depth in that left knee for more of a challenge. But on the next exhale, bring those palms to the chest. Breathe in and lower down towards the left thigh. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. And last one, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. And on the next exhale, turn towards the left. Inhale through the middle. Exhale to the left. Inhale, middle. Exhale, last one, left. Inhale through the middle. Lower the back knee to the mat. And bring those hands down. Find your low lunge. Again, return to your breath. And from here, inhale, reach the left arm up. Take a deep breath. Allow yourself to embrace the pose. And from here, lower that left arm down. Inhale to lift the back leg. Exhale forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. See if you can go just a little bit deeper. Maybe even grabbing the arms and the elbows this time. Bend those knees. Inhale to lift up to mountain. Exhale, fold all the way back to the ground. Inhale to plank. Exhale, bring those knees down, lower. Chest meets the mat. Inhale, lift for either baby cobra or a bit higher up for full cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Again, find your pedals, maybe swinging the hips a little bit more. Good, come back to neutral. And on the next inhale, reach the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale to tuck it in, step it forward, and pivot the left heel down for a warrior stance. Inhale, the left arm sweeps over towards the front of the mat. Option to bring the right forearm across the right thigh if this feels a bit too much for you. And from here, either hook the thumbs, reach the arms back, or interlace the fingers and lift up for a clasp in warrior two. Breathe deep and hold strong. Shoulders and the hips should be facing left. Good, from here, left hand pivots down. Inhale, right arm sweeps back and either grabs on to the left foot or just pull that left foot in and reach the right arm straight back. Find your quad stretch if you are able to grab onto the foot. Good, release. Bring the hands on the inside of the right foot and either stay up on the hands or if you feel comfortable, lower down onto the forearms for lizard pose. Option here to open the leg to the side, pivoting onto the knife's edge of the right foot. And that just gets into the hips in a slightly different way. Again, back out of any of these variations if they feel like too much for you today. Do not push your body. Don't push just for the sake of ego. Now from here, lift off of the back leg. Find a more active lizard. Then return onto the hands. And option one is just straight returning to downward dog. Option two is lifting the right leg to three-legged dog and then entering downward dog. Take a breath. Next, inhale, lift the left leg up and step it forward. Pivot the right heel down and inhale to reach the right arm up and over the front of the mat. 
Yet again, you can place that left forearm across the left thigh if that variation suits you better today. Good, entering warrior two with a clasp. Either hook the thumbs, just reach the arms back, or add a clasp in the hands and press down. Make sure that left knee is stacked over the left ankle. And the torso is right over the hips. Good, right hand comes down. Inhale to lift the left arm, fish back for the right foot or just curl that right foot in without connecting the hand. But if you are able to connect the hand to the foot, then pull it in for the quad stretch. Twisted dragon pose. Good, next exhale, release. Entering into lizard. Hands should be on the inside of the left foot, an option to head onto the forearms and open the knee to the side for a bit more of a stretch or a bit of a different stretch. Again, you can always stay on the hands if this depth feels like too much. Good, lift up into that active lizard, return onto the hands, and either downward dog or lift the left leg all the way up to three-legged dog and return to downward dog. Briefly shake the legs out, and then next inhale, walk it forward, bring the left leg under the right and take a seat. You can take the seat first and then bring the leg under if you prefer. Inhale, lift the left arm up and hook it on the outside of the right knee. Take a twist towards the right. Either extend the arm or bend the left elbow. Good. One more breath. Turn back to the middle, swap the legs, left leg crosses over the right this time, inhale, right arm reaches up, hooks onto the outside of the left knee, and either extend the right arm or bend the elbow. Enjoy the long twist of moments of stillness for the body and perhaps the mind. If not, yet again, focus on your surroundings and your senses. Inhale, come back to the middle. Unhook the legs and yet again, find a seat. We'll finish off with one more upper body stretch. So inhale, reach the arms up, interlace the fingers, press them away. On the exhale, bring the hands to the chest in prayer position and bow the head to the hands. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed day one of our challenge and I will see you tomorrow for day two.